student. She wants some extra credit. I think I passed her. She wants to be a little bit. I passed her. <laughs> no. Yes. 
you That's know, right. Yeah. Even mm -hmm. if you're going out, you grab your phone. Don't you know? Mm -hmm. You grab your phone. That's right. It's an addiction. And when you grab your phone, you're paying more attention to that than the conversation. So one day I had the one lady on there, and she said, I just wanted to have a normal dinner with my family. So I took all my cell phones. I said, everybody's going to put their cell phones in a box, and I'm going to lock it up. And we're just going to have a normal, how was your day at school? How did things go in Bible study? The kids were sitting at the table. <laughs> 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 the girl got up, went to the box, got a hammer, put on some, what do you call it? God, 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 and God. busted the case open. Oh. And got herself, she said, I can't do this. I need my phone. Oh my God. Woo. Young people, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Now, it, you better be careful. Be careful. You better be careful. That's right. Because they're saying that when you live in that isolation, they know your thoughts because right. whatever you send and whatever you do on that app, that's what they're going to give you more of. Yeah. And they said that, why, how do you know it's an addiction? And see, because I had to see, when you are doing Facebook, you will get a message that says somebody tagged you in a picture. Yeah. Mm. How come they don't show the picture right there? Right. Why do it take you hitting the button to go to the picture? So if somebody sends you a picture, why can't you hit the button and say, let me see the picture? That's not what they're interested in. They want to get you addicted mm -hmm. and get, because they know your curiosity. Somebody, oh, somebody sent me a picture, let me see what picture. So now you're hitting another app, and now that app is opening up. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to get off that because I'm getting too many. That's good, oh, That's good. good teaching. Okay. Good teaching. That. That's right. Amen. We don't want teach, to be Carmen, teach. by our own. Because all it is is them having control over you. They know your thoughts. They know what you think. And they're going to offer suggestions. Amen. It's called manipulation. Yeah. The only story I'm going to tell you about when I'm sitting down is Daniel in the lion's den. We all heard the story about Daniel and the lion's did. That was one of you went to Sunday school, you learned about that. She's shaking her head to the highest brother. She's like, yeah. You learned about Daniel in the lion's did. Amen. But I studied about Daniel and the lion's did, and this coming from Daniel 6. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 set traps. Set traps were chief officials, chief officers of the king's palace. Darius was the king. And over these, there were three governors of whom Daniel was one that the set traps might give an account to. So he said, 120 set traps, those are the chief officials of the palace. Daniel was over them, so they had to report to Daniel. Mm -hmm. Daniel and King Darius became friends. Yes. They yes. became good friends, and Darius liked Daniel. I'm going somewhere. Yes. So then Daniel distinguished himself above all the governors and all the subjects because he had an excellent spirit. Yeah. He was about 80 or 90 years old 
and he got to the uh, be with King Darius. But he had an excellent spirit. And because he had an excellent spirit, the people that didn't like him, because they said, we're from Babylon. Why do you got to get Daniel to be over us and we're from Babylon? Daniel came from Jerusalem. Why he got to be over us? And the king was saying, not only is he going to be over y'all, he's going to be over the whole kingdom. Because he had an excellent spirit. No spots on him. No spots. No spot. He wasn't on Facebook. Pinterest. Mm. YouTube all the time. David was a man after God's own heart, but he didn't have an excellent spirit. Daniel, there was no wrong that could be found in Daniel. So the, the Satraps, they got mad. And it was like, I don't want him over us. That's just like when God blesses you with a job. And you know you're not qualified for that job. And you come in and get the job and there's people that have been there longer than you and they still in that position and you're over them. God does that. He does that. He does that. But if you're in school and the teacher picks you up, I want you to sing in the book. Why he got to sing? He just joined the band. Why, why is he singing? But that's what God does. Amen. Okay, so there is, so they find it and they found that Daniel prayed to his God three times a day. He prayed to his God three times a day. He opened his window, faced Jerusalem, because Jerusalem was where the God, the presence of God was in the temple. So he opened up the window and he prayed. He wasn't doing it to show off. That was his custom. And the Bible said that he did that years before. That was his normal custom to pay three times with the window. It wasn't that new. So what they did was they plotted. And this is what you're going to do. Get in school sometime. They're going to plot on you and tell you, you, he did that. He did that. But listen, Daniel trusted in God. They said, they went to King Darius and they said, they couldn't find nothing on Daniel. He did nothing wrong. Nothing. And the king was liking him more and more. So the, the chief officials, they went and talked to King Darius. They said, oh, King Darius. They said, why don't you make a, career, a, a decree that state that nobody can pray to nobody but you? So Darius, he liked that. He wasn't thinking about his friend Daniel. He was like, oh, yeah, that dude. He said, you will be the God of will. Well, that do sound good, but you got to sign off on it. Mm. And it was the Persians and the me. Yeah, the real Persians. Right? So Daniel told King Darius, say, that sounds good. I mean, they going to just worship me for 30 days. Mm. Nobody can pray to no other God but you, King Darius. Oh, man, King Darius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he did. He signed a decree with the Persians and the me in that kingdom. Once you sign it, it yeah. will not be changed. So now they come to Darius. King Darius, all along live the king. You, remember you signed that decree? Yeah. Everybody gonna worship me for 30 days. Well, you know Daniel that you brought in from Jerusalem. We had a problem with him in the first place because he refused to eat the king's food. So we had a problem with him. Now he's about 90 years old. And guess what he was doing? He was praying to another God, the true and living God. So Darius went to Daniel. And no, he said, go ahead. Throw Daniel. He didn't want it. He stayed up. He was trying to find a loophole. How can I get my friend? Because he's like that. How can I get him from not facing the lion's den? And the lions back then, if they were in a den. They wasn't at the zoo. But they were in the den. Yeah. And they said they had to throw Daniel in the den of lions. And they wouldn't feed the animals the lions for days. So the animals were already mad. The lions were mad. They were mad because they were in this dungeon and came to the <laughs> Darius 
May your God, God, that you pray to yes. continually yes. bless you. Because I know you will. Bless you in the life. Daniel wasn't worried. That's what God wants us. Yes. He don't want you to fear. Because you're trusting in God, not man. Yes. And he told Daniel, hey, your God that you pray to continually, yes. may he get you out of this deal. Yes. They threw Daniel in the den. And what I like, I was listening to the little girl that was in Sunday school. They said, oh, I know, Susie, you're, wasn't the lion's den really scary for Daniel? And the little girl said, no. Daniel wasn't scared in there. I was like, no, he was in there with the lions and was very hungry. Daniel wasn't scared in there because he had the lion. Of Judah. Yeah. <laughs> lion of Judah. He had the lion of Judah. Yeah, the talking lions in there. But the little girl said, because the lion of Judah was one of the lions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Daniel went in there. They pushed them in there. And Darius couldn't sleep because that was his friend. All night long, Darius couldn't sleep. He wouldn't eat. They used to have the magicians come and play. He didn't want none of that. He didn't want no food. He was just so hurt. My friend Daniel. My friend Daniel. My friend Daniel. But what happened? That next morning, Daniel, Daniel had a sweet sleep. Yeah. But the king stayed up all night. But Daniel had a sweet sleep. So the king, he couldn't wait to cock a doo 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 doo. <laughs> Last point that I want 
want to make John F. Kennedy. And his wife, Carolyn, and her sister, they had to go to a wedding. John F. Kennedy was a pilot. And he was a pilot. And he was going to try to use his pilot license to drive the plane to the funeral. Yes. But John F. Kennedy was a sight visual pilot. Mm. That means that he could only go by what he could see. Mm. He wasn't an instrument pilot. He didn't know how to use the instruments within the mm. That's right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm. Mm. What I want you to do, it's young right. people, don't go that side. It's not mm. what you see. That's right. It's not what you see. Use what you have in you. God, word have I hid in my heart that I might not, not sin against, against it. it.